a clear, crisp 65 degrees. A great night for football in Jacksonville, Florida. Texas Tech versus Tennessee in the first ever football meeting between the two schools. Bowl games are big, they're very important. They're an award for a good season. How do you prepare, Coach Battle? We try to approach it just like we would a normal game. Of course, we try to enjoy all the festivities of the bowl. We like to get out early and go through a full, regular week's routine. Light Monday, hard Tuesday, Wednesday, light Thursday, Friday, Monday. Again, you, how how do you prepare those Texas boys? Well, we're a little different category. We have a semester situation, and our players didn't get out of school until the 22nd of December. Therefore, we let them out in this particular case for the three days to go home for Christmas, and we brought them back down here. And we tried to work them, just like Bill said, in the free game, just like we did on a regular week. Of course, we were short a day or two. We had about three weeks to get ready back in love, which is longer we usually get ready for. Would uh, Texas Tech be like anybody you played close to battle on the regular season? Uh, no, they're really not. They do a lot of same thing better than most of the folks we played. I certainly think them and Alabama are definitely the best teams we've played. Father, well, how about you when you look at Tennessee? Well, I see us. I think we, they do a lot of the same things we do. I would have to compare them to the people we played. I'd say they have Texas the best two teams we played. A handshake, and good luck to you. Thank you. Tech faithfuls say this team with a 10-1 record is the best in the school's 49-year-old football history. Quarterback Joe Barnes broke the school's total offense career record this year. Freshman tailback Larry Isaac has been kingpin among the Tech's muscular legions. The Big Orange 8-3 season ranks second to none in excitement. Junior quarterback Holloway won the praise and respect of fans and coaches alike. This is the first Gator Bowl game played under lights. An energy crisis to the contrary, this stadium is electrified tonight. In fact, Jacksonville has been a hub of energetic activity for weeks, as a variety of Gator Bowl events leads up to the big game. Gator Bowl means regatta time, and the beautiful St. John's River comes alive with sailing buffs from all over the southeast. Trophy winner, Richard Horton of Jacksonville. In the predicted log race, both captains vie with a show of precision. The prize goes to the one who comes closest in performance to what he predicted for his crew and boat. In the calm of the Ortega River, the youngsters with their prams and the canoe fans of all ages get together for some friendly competition. When Mother Nature can't break the jam, other means must be used. A big drawing card for racing fans is the powerboat competition. These hydroplanes will reach speed up to 100 miles per hour, even in this choppy water. trophy for the second year in a row, Earl Vince from Johns Island, South Carolina, with a 200 horsepower Mercury reaching speeds up to 101 miles per hour. Gator Bowl President Gordon Thompson greets guests to the Coronation Ball, then introduces the Regal Court. Princess Sharon Ann Ireland is a senior mathematics major at Jacksonville University. Princess Pam Osteen is a senior studying pharmacy at the University of Florida. The reigning monarch of the 29th Gator Bowl Classic, Queen Vicki Lynn Hansen. Lovely blonde, hazel-eyed Vicki is a second-year nursing candidate at Florida Junior College. 
The five foot five inch, 120 pound co-ed pursues ballet, modern jazz, and tap dancing as her hobbies. And a very beautiful, graceful dancer she is. The Gator Bowl Basketball Tournament has once again brought together teams of national stature. Duke and Western Kentucky, Jacksonville University and the University of Florida create their own brand of energy. It keeps the Coliseum fans on the edge of their seats. In exciting first night games, Duke came from behind to beat Western Kentucky 75 to 69. Florida was another come from behind victor over JU, 64 to 62. back the second night to capture third place with an 85 to 79 win over Western Kentucky. In the finals, a six foot five inch sophomore by the name of Gene Shy and a stout defense made it all happen for Florida. The Gators pinned a convincing 77 to 60 defeat on the Duke Blue Devils for the championship. field. Time now for action between the Vols and the Red Raiders. The press corps ready for the 1973 Gator Bowl Classic in Jacksonville, Florida. It's Texas Tech set to battle the University of Tennessee. Ricky Townsend kicks off for the Vols. The 29th Classic is underway. There'll be no run back as the ball is downed in the end zone. But hold on for excitement. From the 20-yard line, the action starts. Quarterback is Joe Barnes. He flips to Larry Isaac. Defender Carmichael plays it well, no gain. The Southwest Conference against the Southeastern Conference, and that spells excitement. Number 12, Joe Barnes. He picks up seven yards. In Jacksonville, Florida, everything is perfect for the 29th Gator Bowl Classic, as Texas Tech is forced to give up the football. Punter David Kirkendall masters the punt. It's a beauty. That one will be downed inside the Tennessee 10-yard line. This game boasts two of the nation's best quarterbacks. Here's fullback stand back for a tough three Tennessee yards. Number seven, Condridge Holloway is the talk of Tennessee. He hands again to Haskell stand back. Not much running room. Both teams fail on their first offensive charge and Tennessee gives up the football. That's Neil Clabo doing the punting. And the Red Raiders gain on the punt exchange and go to work near midfield. Barnes to Isaac. Isaac is inside Tennessee territory. Gator Bowl first quarter, no score. Texas Tech first down at the Volunteer 44. Freshman Larry Isaac gains four more yards. It's Texas Tech making their third appearance in the Gator Bowl 
Tennessee's fourth trip to Jacksonville. Barnes to Lawrence Williams, and the Red Raiders have something going. At the Tennessee 23, the ball goes to James Mosley, and that's what you call a hard-earned three-yard gain. It's the Gator Bowl's first night game, and the fans love it. A flip to Isaac, and he jets inside the Tennessee 10-yard line. Gator Bowl, Jacksonville, Florida. It's scoreless, but not for long. The boys from Lubbock, Texas are close, and quarterback Joe Barnes has the honor of scoring the first Gator Bowl touchdown of the night. Let's look at it again. It's the quarterback keeper as the senior Joe Barnes climaxes a 57-yard drive in 11 plays. Don Grimes adds the point after, and Texas Tech is on the Gator Bowl scoreboard first. For the University of Tennessee, freshman Stanley Morgan eyes the kickoff. He has speed and explodes for 26 yards on the return. From their own 40, Holloway brings Tennessee back. A 17-yarder to Emin Love. What a night for the Gator Bowl Classic, 65 degrees. Late in the first quarter, Texas Tech can play defense too. No room for Haskell stand back on this play. Make it fourth and two at the Red Raider 29. The Vols will go. Trailing seven to nothing. Stand back again. No gain. George Haro makes the big play on defense. Jacksonville, Florida's Gator Bowl. It's the first quarter. Texas Tech seven and Tennessee nothing. It's Tennessee again at their own 29. A quarterback named Holloway is known for scrambling and he finds enough running room for a plus five yards. Make it second and five, Tennessee at their own 34-yard line. Holloway quickly to love. Good play. 24 yards to the Texas Tech side of the field. Outstanding crowd, outstanding football. A Gator Bowl trademark. Holloway looking and trying to escape but he can't. Good defense. The Red Raider defense has Townsend coming on to aim for a 53-yard field goal. But it's wide of the mark. Texas Tech holds on to the lead and regains the football. Barnes, the signal caller, at their own 20. Williams, look out. A one-yarder. Good stop by Ronnie Wheeler. Gator Bowl, second quarter, Red Raiders at the 21. And Joe Barnes goes searching. It's a bomb, and it's on target to Lawrence Williams. And there's no catching Williams. He's off to the end zone. Let's look at that Barnes to Williams big one again. This combination helped get the Red Raiders into the Gator Bowl. Texas Tech from the Southwest Conference increases their lead 14 to nothing. Condridge Holloway has brought the balls back before. He's cool, good toss to Tommy West. It's a 20-yard gainer. Tennessee moves to the Texas Tech 16 here in the second quarter. Beery and McCann make a defensive jam on Holloway. It's a costly eight-yard loss. Make it second and 18 now at the Red Raider 24. Holloway gets 12 of it back by finding Chip Howard. And Tennessee is threatening at the 12. Third down and six. Tech applies the pressure. And Holloway wisely tosses it away. That'll bring on number 22, Ricky Townsend. 
with all kinds of records at Tennessee. He gets the volunteers on the Gatorbone scoreboard with a 30-yard three-pointer. And the action-packed Gator Bowl continues. With a tech combination, Barnes to All-America, Andre Tillman. That spells 23 yards. Tennessee puts an end to the Red Raider drive as Garner is hit by Steve Poole for a minus four. And now Don Grimes will set sights for a 56-yard field goal. It fails to get airborne, and a man named Eddie Brown, who is a wizard at returns, will run it back. He struggles back 10 yards, minus his orange jersey. The University of Tennessee late in the second quarter Battling the clock to try and score. Holloway to Stanley Morgan. A big 27-yard gainer. From the Texas Tech 43, defenseman Danny Willis ends the fine Tennessee effort with a timely interception. And Texas Tech will hold on to the halftime Gator Bowl lead over Tennessee, 14 to three. The high-stepping Red Raider marching band, 300 strong, all the way from Lubbock, Texas. Texas Tech band is under the direction of Dean Killian. How do you like that for precision drilling? Make way for the pride of the Southland Band from the University of Tennessee. This is the third time director W.J. Julian and his colorful aggregation has appeared at a Gator Bowl Classic. Tennessee band teams up now with a Knoxville neighbor, Boots Randolph, for a saxophone medley. Time now for more football action. The Gator Bowl second half, and it starts out quickly. A pitch out to Haskell Stanback in Tennessee has the ball inside Texas Tech territory. From the 20-yard line now, the same combination, and Stanback has three more yards before the collision. Fourteen to three, Texas Tech, the Volunteers on the move. Good blocking, Bill Rudder has it first and goal for the Volunteers. From five yards away, stand back at left guard, T-Tech says no. That's defense, man. On third down, five yards away, Holloway goes wide and flips to stand back, the man voted most viable for Tennessee, and he drives over for a touchdown. Ricky Townsend comes on and adds one with his bare toe. Red Raiders 14, Volunteers 10. What a football game. But look out. That's Larry Isaac loose. And he really battles for 14 yards, and the Texans come right back at their own 47. 
Barnes to Calvin Jones. It's another long gainer, 18 yards. This Joe Barnes is really something, quite a leader. And now the senior is on target to Williams, and what a hit by Murdoch. From the Tennessee 30, Barnes needs eight. And he gets 10. It's another first down. The Red Raiders are moving every way. John Garner down the middle for 14 more yards. Third quarter of the Gator Bowl. First and 10. The Texans want to increase their lead. Barnes to six foot five All-America Tillman. He's in to score. And here it is again. Andre Tillman makes some kind of target for Joe Barnes to throw to. The Gator Bowl in Jacksonville, Florida. The score, 21 to 10, Texas Tech. The 29th edition of the Classic is a real thriller. Morgan, the speedster, on the return. And look out, a 49-yard race back by Morgan. And Tennessee comes right back. Third quarter, and Tennessee won't stop battling. They're known for that. And here is Holloway looking. He's just a junior. And he's a real cool quarterback. He finds Chansey for eight yards. Two well-prepared teams. At the 11-yard line, 21 to 10. Aubrey McCann gets a wide open shot at Holloway. That brings up fourth and 15 and Townsend kicks and finds the mark with a barefoot kick of 37 yards. Gatorball score, Texas Tech 21, Tennessee 13 as we go to the fourth quarter. Hold on for excitement. Texas Tech must give up the football. Waiting downfield is a gentleman named Eddie Brown. And he thrills the fans across the nation on ABC television. And the punter, Kirkendall, makes the save at the eight. A 62-yard punt return by Eddie Brown. Bill Battle's volunteers are eight yards away from a touchdown, and Holloway loses no time. Looking for standback, he's got him on target for a Tennessee touchdown. The Gator Bowl is now 21 to 19, Tennessee within two. And let's take another look at that touchdown. Coach Battle has Tennessee going for the tie. The two point pass, Holloway to Love, misses the mark. Fourth quarter, the score remains 21 to 19, Texas Tech. And the Red Raider quarterback, Joe Barnes, was voted into the Gator Ball Hall of Fame, and here he shows why. That's a 24-yard trip. Larry Isaac gets the call. Another defensive save, this one by Andy Spiva. Texas Tech again must punt the ball back to Tennessee. The ball's trailing 21 to 19, final quarter, plus nine for Steve Chancey. The balls must travel 80 yards for a touchdown. Some kind of effort by Chancey as he battles and battles more for 12 yards. First and 10 Tennessee at their own 46 yard line. And the drive continues. Haskell stand back. Great effort. The balls need three to take the lead. Holloway, the junior quarterback, goes for another first down. On target to West. Jacksonville, Florida's famed Gator Bowl in the fourth quarter, and what excitement. At the 21, Holloway to John Yarborough, plus nine more. A field goal, remember, could win it a super game. Holloway can't find running room as Texas Tech defense does their job. It's a loss of three yards on the play. 
Make it third and fourth to 15. Quarterback Holloway is aiming for a touchdown. But Mitchell Gravett can't hold on. Now they'll call on Ricky Townsend to go for the field goal that could win it. Townsend's 32-yard try. It's wide, usually his range. And Texas Tech holds on to the lead after a game Tennessee effort. Then the explosion from the 20. Fullback James Mosley turns hero, racing 70 yards to the Tennessee 10. Late in the fourth quarter, most valuable player for Texas Tech quarterback Barnes carries to the Tennessee three. Joe Barnes calls on Larry Isaac to preserve the victory and cap the scoring in the Gator Bowl. He obliges. One of the best Gator Bowl events ever from start to finish. The 29th edition of the Jacksonville, Florida Gator Bowl is won by Texas Tech over Tennessee, 28 to 19. <laughs>